for the um, triple XL tips that I cut down to about a long length using my 16 brush. Okay, important thing about using white, it's very pigmented, so you gotta be careful with that. Make sure you don't get that pigment into your monomer, okay? Take your time with it, and okay, don't rush it. You guys are like, ooh, he's using white cringe. I know. Cringe, cringe. Cringe indeed. I get you. I know exactly what you mean. But if you take your time, you do it correctly. The white actually, especially Chisel's white, is not really that pigmented, to be honest with you. Compared to other people's white, I think Chisel's white is actually not as pigmented. As in, like, it's not going to bleed all over the place. And there we go. How's everybody doing? Needing to get your nails done. Uh, I'm in Orlando. Is that marble? So make sure you watch your ratio. Don't use too much. Give yourself time to make adjustments. It's right. Perfect, perfect thickness, perfect apex for me. There you go. This is exactly how I like it. Just like that. Ah! Ah! Look at me. I'm an idiot. Actually, touch it with my finger. Trying to show you guys the side profile. I think it wasn't completely dry yet. Just remolded it. But here it is. Just like that. That's literally all you need, guys, for this length. Look at that. Enough apex. Hope you pick me as a practice finger. Upcoming class. <laughs> Uh, what class are you in? Oh, you in the are you in the Cincinnati class? So I'm not gonna try to work with this really wide away. I know it's a little bit more wetter than most. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit before I start moving the powder. All about control and timing. The time for everything, okay? too bad actually um, could have been worse I've have used worse whites let that marble a little bit before I reapply here you can just share about me guys appreciate that you never know who can reach it can help I'm just doing a nice two bead process to give myself a nice structure. Make sure everything's nice and clean so I don't have to do too much work later with the drilling and filing.
just been doing nails for almost like three weeks and I'm coming back with some white powder. Wow. Definitely wear it to prove it. Nice and clean though. I got this. Got the powder marbles yet? Yeah, marbles. Gotta give it time. I don't wanna work with it when it's too wet. It's gonna bleed, it's gonna pigment everything. Pigment here. I wish it was an easier way to use white powder, but this is pretty much what you gotta deal with, guys, when using white powder. So I recommend anytime you do any white sets, you can definitely, um, I recommend doing the um, set in acrylic or a nude or cover powder, and then go back through and um, use uh, white gel polish, and just paint it. Actually a lot easier, but this set specifically, I have pressed the white powder, so we're gonna do white powder. Mm -hmm. Where is everybody watching from? I haven't asked that in a long time. See what the community is watching from. It's a good way for me to gauge where I'm gonna do my next class. That's what I used to do back then. Ask me where they're watching from so I can know where to do my next class. Is it too hot? Mm -hmm. Is it hot? It's getting hot. Colorado, I've been there. I was just talking about practicing their art for Halloween. Ugh. This is going to be my first Pennywise set of the season, so please bear with me, guys. I didn't even practice with this yet. But I'm pretty sure I got it. Probably put Pennywise up on this. Pennywise, face, balloons, the it logo. Some blood drips from the cuticle area. Black and red theme would be nice with this set. It's important not to flood the cuticles there. not too bad it's white actually it was not that hard to work with Look at that nice and clean Trinidad Jamaica Fowler Massachusetts UK it's nighttime in the UK right now isn't it so after this thumb I'm gonna actually replace my monomer because the monomer is getting kind of dingy When you want to make some contaminated, this one gets starts to get sticky. This one is hard to work with. Okay, I'm actually surprised this white powder is not like bleeding or pigmenting all over the place. It's 
So I kind of really like how they mix this. It's pretty good, very nice consistency. Um, works really well with my uh, medium setting monomer, but um, generally the biggest test is black and white or one of the most gruesome colors to work with because they're so pigmented and it just bleeds and pig dyes everything. I don't like working with black sometimes because it dyes the cuticle area. It's really annoying for me anyway. So I would rather prefer to just paint these colors instead of doing the actual color powder, but some sets you require to actually use the color powder, so. One, two, three, oh, marble, and then I don't know exactly what to put it on. Nudge into the cuticle area. Blend down. I can't wait to go to Cincinnati for my Cincinnati class. And my first time I'm gonna be up there, it's gonna be nice and fall. Okay, one hand down. I'd say that took me a little bit longer than I wanted to for one hand, probably 20 minutes there. Um, but I'm gonna clean my brush real quick. Cause one thing I know is white has a lot of pigment. It has like a lot of other stuff in there too. And I'm gonna start my next hand fresh. Just gonna clean this brush really nice. Seem like a lot of work, but do this, guys. It makes sense, or you have to do your job a little bit easier, okay? Just put enough that I need for my one next hand. There we go. So instead of doing a big amount of monomer, I do half half of each, and it gives me the ability to start fresh on each each hand. Because the monomer once it gets contaminated, especially with pigments. Um, it, it works starts getting sticky and actually it makes more acrylic stick to your brush. This is pigment you're seeing, it's not acrylic. That white is pigment. Because white and black is very high pigment, it gets stuck to your brush and then that drags other stuff on there. So it's very important to clean as you work. So a lot of you probably just pour a big thing of monomer and try to get the whole 10 fingers and you're like, ah, oh, it's so sticky and it's not working well. Yeah, you know, I know how that feels, trust me. Been there, done that. So I, I show you guys how to do this. You know, pour just enough for one hand, get fresh monomer for the second hand. Is that a gem gel to use? Yes, I do. Um, hey, Jennifer, how are you feeling? Um, the gem gel I use is on my website. It's a, it should be on there. Um, it's actually really nice. It's a new one. It's not like the older one I had. It's, it's double the size. I double the size of what I had before. Hope you're feeling better. I know you have been feeling the weather. The, the gem glue that I had, that new one right now, is actually stronger than the one I used had before. I had them reformulate. It's a little bit thicker and has some more adhesive property. Do I sell those metallic nail art pens? Metallic nail art pens. I'm trying to think of your talking about the chrome. You mean like the chrome pens where they rub the chrome on there? I don't like the chrome pens, but I'm gonna start having these uh, chrome palettes. But I gotta pick the colors too. Cause there's a lot of different type of chromes nowadays. The pens, I feel like it's, it's you can't control how much you use because when you squeeze that thing, it comes out too much or. I don't know. Um, I haven't used it before, but I've seen it new, so but I, I like more of the, the, the makeup art palette type chrome better. 
these are ones we use for our classes um to show designs in our classes um in our um you know the one like in the one in chicago we're going to be teaching that design class it's going to be um patino and vina this powder see I get just get enough powder out of that what I need a lot of people ask me hey you don't cap it I'm like no, just, I'm not gonna go through and do another layer of application Hey Julia, how are you? All my old school students coming out here. Julia, are you working down in Fort Myers and in Elsalon yet? If so, why not? You have your license now, so. Time to marble, and you know, you don't want to put it on too early when it's gonna to be too wet, it's gonna bleed all over the place. What's up, Andy? How are you? Please, please come. Can I get some any fans here? <laughs> I was, you know, <laughs> I was just talking to Wave Joe's um, owner. She was like, come to Connecticut for another a private class. I was like, ugh. Do I seriously gotta do it? Probably. Connecticut again. I didn't, haven't done my salon ready class there yet, so I guess I can still probably do that. in Arlington, Cincinnati for the month of well, Cincinnati next week, Arlington in October, then Chicago in October. Pretty much booked up. I gotta book something up for November. Cuticles nice and clean there. Oh, almost done. 
and everybody's waiting for the Pennywise design. We're just probably gonna go to the generic Pennywise face, balloons, floating, it logo. is getting low but this is just enough for me to finish off this last finger here Make sure I get rid of all this excess I gotta admit white is pretty hard to work with if you have never worked with white before I think this is like not something a beginner would have to work with or else I think a lot of beginners that use work white the first time they're probably cry definitely not beginner friendly you have to really have a lot of control and work fast. Not as forgiving as nudes and cover of powders, unfortunately. I need like a deep clean after I'm done using this. There we go, we're done. Whew.